I can't believe this. You and me waking up together for the first time. You're smiling. I'm happy. Usually after I'm I'm not, it's it's different now. Yeah. No shame, no guilt, no broken vows, just happy. Mm -hmm. Last night. I'm glad we didn't fight it either. It was perfect. Yeah. I, I dreamt about this. Hmm. And what happened in your dream? This. No, you're in D.C. for work. Looks like it's just us. The SEC is expecting that fax today. Oh, the affidavits from Cortland execs? Yes. I have them in my bag. What? What is this? What's what? This, you wrote a letter to, to the, the judge? You're no longer representing my mother? Are you deserting her? Jack asked me to stand in for him at your mother's bail hearing. I got her released on her own recognizance. Uh, she could still be charged with attempted murder. Won't happen. But what if it does happen? Look, I, I don't understand. <laughs> my mother is in trouble and you have no problem walking away? Jack is going to be reinstated. Your mother doesn't need me anymore. I would not call it a rookie mistake. Well, you prosecuted someone for murder, and it turned out there wasn't even a victim. Well, we had legitimate reason to bring Greenlee Hayward to trial. Now, we regret the outcome, but we make no apologies. What do you say to people who think you're in over your head as DA? <laughs> well, I would assure them that there is nobody more committed to this job than I am. Nobody who is more committed to the pursuit of justice. We will go after these perpetrators. These perpetrators or just some? Okay, if you are insinuating that my office can't handle the David Hayward shootings professionally, let me dispute you of that right now. We will not tolerate vigilante justice, no matter the victim or the perpetrator. What are you doing? Saving you from yourself. was saying? Yes, I did. I had the very same instinct you did to go let her have it, but that would have been a bad idea. Jack, the only bad idea is that Liza is defending David Hayward again. She's making him sound like some sort of a, an innocent victim. Honey, you're not wrong, but your timing is terrible. She is about to decide whether she's going to press charges against you or not. So picking a fight with her in front of the media, not good. Well, Liza is the one who would have come off badly, not me. I saved Ryan's life. I intervened mm -hmm. just in time. I mean, since when is that vigilante justice? When I only have part of the story, Erica, yours and Ryan's. The other part is in a coma a couple doors down. Liza, this is a privileged conversation. Your license was suspended. I'm afraid it's not. You don't honestly think you have a legitimate case against me. I actually have a very good case against you. I think you should save yourself some further humiliation. You should drop it. Why? Because a, a murder charge would get in the way of holiday plans or... The only plan that I have is to spend time with my daughter, Kendall, who just lost her husband. You should call Caleb. 
We should discuss this case. What is there to discuss, Liza? Ryan corroborated Erica's story. Hayward hit that roof with a loaded weapon. When I arrived, they were fighting at the edge of the rail. The gun must have dropped. Then David had Ryan just about to push him over the edge. So you picked up the gun and you shot him. Should I have waited for David to kill Ryan? You could have called out to David, you could have warned him, oh. you could have shot the gun into the air, but you didn't. You pulled the trigger and you shot an unarmed man in the back. To save another if man's that life! that is not vigil anti-justice, I don't know what is. I can't believe you're bailing on my mother. I'm not bailing on anybody. I was asked to do a job and I did it. But don't you want to see this through? No, I don't. It's best to keep things simple and separate. Well, if her case goes to trial... Then she has a good lawyer and Jack. But if he can't be there for her, I want you standing up for Mom. What are you staring at? I have a hole in my shirt? No, I'm sorry. I was just thinking about how busy you've become since you came to Pine Valley. Yeah, for a guy who wanted to ditch town so badly, he sure has a lot of people who count on him. Yeah, he settled in pretty nicely, I'd say. I like the burgers at Crystal's. You guys aren't so bad. I hear that he likes us. <laughs> Are we ruining your rap? Hating people, hating kids? Yeah, and they hate you. Oh, especially Miranda. Mm -hmm. This town is terrible. There's no work for lawyers. No job opportunities No, at all. no nice families. Mm -hmm. Roomies are horrible. Yeah. This is all your fault. <laughs> oh, excuse me. So... You had a chance to talk to Asher lately? No. Why? We were talking about Pine Valley and all your reasons to stay. Didn't mean to sneak up on you like that. No, that's okay. Why are you all sweaty? I just worked out over in the East Wing. Gotta get this leg back in shape. The East Wing, but there's a gym right downstairs yeah but the other one's always empty and the equipment is like way better you know don't get why you guys never use it oh, well it's it it's for guests i mean i don't even think i've ever even been in there before we should uh check it out maybe tomorrow morning no you know i have this neck thing it it really hurts i badly. hate that yeah <laughs> uh, where does it hurt oh no, 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 that's okay. <laughs> I was just trying to help. No, I know, Asher, but uh, we... Look, we need to set ground rules. Is this about that kiss thing? No, I've totally forgotten about the kiss. Totally. I, um... I, uh... Well, I just... I don't... I, I don't want things to get weird between us. I thought we were friends. Yeah, we are friends. Then why would things get weird? Um, look, Asher, um, you and Damon, you are friends. And uh, me and Damon, uh, we are boyfriend and girlfriend. Okay, so if I'm going to go work out at the gym, it's going to be with Damon. And if I'm going to go for dinner, I'm going to go with Damon. Mm -hmm. And look, JR, he invited you to live here, which is fine. But uh, this is a very, very big house, and there is no reason for us to be around each other all the time. Hey, uh, you're the boss. You know, when I walked out of here, I knew I was never going to be able to sleep in another room, another bed, <laughs> having you so close to me. Mm -hmm. When I opened the door and you were standing there, <sighs> you know, I'm lucky to be alive. I didn't want to take any of that for granted. So I had to. I had to come over here. I had to be with you. I had to show you how I feel. Yeah. You make me believe that it's... that it's real. Waking up with you, I, I feel like it never has to end. It doesn't.
No. I'll get rid of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> AJ, is everything okay? I miss you, Daddy. When are you coming home? I miss you too, buddy. I'm sorry I wasn't there to tuck you in last night. I had a bad dream about Grandpa David. Well, it's just a dream, and I'm gonna be home real soon. And I'm bringing you an awesome gift. Like a rocket ship? Something like that. Love you, Daddy. I love you too. Hey, where are you going? I have to get ready. Wait, 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 wait. AJ had a nightmare. It's okay, I understand, dear. Nightmares, dreams. They don't last, you eventually wake up. No, but you know that I... Stop, please. We have a huge meeting with the SEC. We have to go get ready. Yo, AJ, high five. My dad's bringing me a rocket ship. Nice. Are we going to finish that game of checkers there? Yep. And then I'll teach you how to play blackjack. Nice. One more demo. Tears are tears, right? You know? Yeah. Yeah, it's me, Colby. I'm, I'm right Colby. here. Yeah. Colby! I already told you it's better this way. Your own son hating you, that's better? The kid needs somebody to hate. I'm okay with that. I still think you should talk to him. The kid doesn't want to talk. I can't make him talk. Did you tell him about Adam Chandler, what he did to you? No, and I'm not going to do that. Okay. I know I, I don't know the whole story. But the way you talk about Sonia, it sounds like you loved her no matter what mistakes she made with Adam. It seems like you could present the story in a way that would not make him hate his mother. Oh, God. I don't mean to upset you. I just think Asher is starting to see that the story isn't as simple as he thought it was. And what makes you think that? Well, after he told you he was your son, he could have left, but he didn't. Why do you suppose that is? Say goodbye to Marissa for me. Who's that? One of our contacts at the SEC calling to give us a heads up. I guess JR flew to Washington yesterday to do some lobbying with some of the bigwigs. Let me guess, he didn't go alone. 